I think there's a PlayStation right here. There is a PlayStation. PlayStation. Wow. But that's a that's a gaming computer too. Huh. Wow. All right, let's pop this open. Are you kidding me? Good afternoon. Welcome to the Scrap and Pallet Man channel. Got some more rotors today. Yeah, so the rusty ones are from a few days ago because it rained. These are the freshies. Yeah, but let's go find some stuff on the curb. First stop, metal. And a wiffle ball. No, they're probably not trying to get rid of the wiffle ball. Torches. Party torches. I might have some competition. Not sure if that's landscaping or scrapping. Competition with a trailer? You never know. I think it's metal. Sure does look like metal. Is it made of helium steel? Oh yeah, that's totally helium steel. Scrap trying to hide in the weeds a little bit. I don't think so, mister. You're getting free. Wait, what are you full of? There's no garbage cans around here, so you're coming with me no matter what. Thought those were moving for a second. They're not. <laughs> um, yeah, we're just gonna ignore that. <laughs> Nothing like some fresh, clean gloves. I like it. Probably wood, huh? Yep, that's wood. I'm gonna leave that alone in case there's some pickers running around. Oh. What's it say? Happy home. And. Some wire. Scrap pieces. Hmm. I think that'll do it. I don't think I want. Oh, it doesn't. It doesn't screw. Okay. For a second, I was like, it doesn't unscrew. Cycling. I was just listening to a radio program about items like this that can't get repaired because the manufacturer, let's say one of these, this bracket breaks or, uh, you know, one of these little clips here um, doesn't work anymore. You can't just call up the company and say, hey, can I get that clip? Ooh, that's heavy. That's like that's capable. That's cast iron. Mm. Yeah, that's... Couldn't get washed. <laughs> yeah, so like wheelchairs, like the rubber part of the, the wheel or the bearings that you can't call up these manufacturers and say, hey, I would like to uh, get a part to repair this wheelchair. You can't do it. 
Uh oh, I need some gasoline. Back to that walker um, and being able to repair items. There's a lot of laws being passed in the States um, that have to do with the right to repair items. That if we own something that we should have a right to repair them. What is this? A little scrap metal on the curb. I guess it is. Now I was a technician working on radar weapon systems for a long time in the US Coast Guard. And I'll tell you one thing, I do not enjoy repairing things, but there are those that do. So they should have a right to repair items And I just think it's pretty wild that uh, after you own something that they make it difficult for you to repair something. I mean, just think if they did that with the automotive industry, you buy a, a new car, but <laughs> the, you can't get parts that they give uh, your mechanic a hard time um, saying, no, you're, you're keeping me from selling new cars by changing the oil on this one. Oh, truck is full. Here's where I'm most uncomfortable. I don't know why. My garage door is open, which basically is every garage in the evening. Let's see how quickly we can do this. Looks like there's a little bit of goop in that grease collector. Let me just dry it up. do is the microwave is going in there this thing's getting mushed that direction <laughs> I didn't want to show it but there was like a ooh, it sounds bright there was like a group of 10 year olds over there and they were all climbing on a basketball hoop like on the very top of a 10 foot basketball hoop and they're doing some stuff I mean definitely dangerous emergency room stuff though th those kids are on the a heightened learning curve doing stuff like that and there is yeah i i think i think it's kind of good for them that they're learning how their body works in some slightly precarious situations i was a kid like that i mean i, I mean i'm generation x we weren't very supervised not speaking of not supervised i think i see a pile up here so yeah, I, I, I just, I, those kids are having a time of their life. They're having an absolute blast. When I see trash like this, it just makes me want to take a peek. Uh, no. Yeah, 
tank's pretty empty. We can get five bucks of ethyl. Perhaps on Sunday. What's up, my brother? What's going on, man? I'm doing a little bit of scrapping. Yeah. I got the camera going, just letting you know. Oh, all right. It's all good. You guys cool being on camera? Yeah. All right, because I'm getting some gas. So what are you guys up to? Just got done hauling pool water. Really? Yep. Uh, it took a little bit more than five bucks. Are you okay if I take your uh, dehumidifiers? Thank you. Yeah. All right. Get them recycled. Hmm. How you doing? Good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good now. Coming back. Coming back around every. In the in yeah in the evening sometimes I come around but usually I'm a morning guy. So yeah, but I just felt like coming out. So if you have some more stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what I have. You're taking mostly appliances. And yeah, stuff? anything that has metal type stuff in it. Um, yeah, like these things, they they have different copper and, and different oh, things. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Yeah, yep. I have a box that just has scrap metal that I put Yeah, if like, you put it out, we scrap it. There's about, I don't know, four. Oh, wonderful, it. thanks. Yeah, yeah, I'll take the whole box if you don't mind. Yeah, you're welcome. Wonderful. Yeah. Great, yeah. thank you. I don't know what to do with it otherwise. That's perfect. Yeah, I just save it and my brother and all hmm. Yeah, thank you. And it definitely will get recycled. So yeah, this will be awesome. a, a car door in probably about a month. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> yeah, you too. I've had folks in the comment section say, what do you do when someone yells at you for picking through their trash? It just doesn't happen. I mean, I'm starting my sixth year of doing this. I really routinely, it's part of my gig. And it just doesn't happen. That happens all the time. When someone's like, hey, hang on a second. I got some more metal for you. Unless I'm hallucinating and seeing bunny rabbits and such, I think there's a PlayStation right here. There is a PlayStation. PlayStation 3. An Asus computer? Yeah. That's definitely going with me. Asus is the creme de la creme of computers. The cream of the crop, they say. Wow. But that's a that's a gaming computer too. Let's pop this open. Are you kidding me? A Core 17 NVIDIA GeForce GTX. You're going with me. We're going to have a long life together. We're going to make lots of videos together. Maybe not so much gaming, but lots of videos. Almost passed it up. There's a pile, a little mini pile. That looks a little. You know, I'm going to start my garden this week as well. This might actually work. I'm not going to do too much tilling, I'm just probably going to. Um, a couple inches. Is that a rock speaker? Oh, there's something in there. Uh, there's something in here. It says heavy duty. What? That's rivets. No, they're not. Those are just little mini nails. Get into my truck. Mm. Uh, 
this metal. It's it's a it's a metal table ish thing. No, but this rock speaker. I want a rock. Okay, so there's a particular connector and a power button. I'll leave that for the next rocker. The sun is going down, so let's go ahead and pick up this adventure in the morning. Good morning. It's a little chilly this morning. So I'm gonna take a couple of these items off of the truck that I wanna keep like that tiller, which I don't know works. A couple of these, um, I don't know what they are. Dehumidifiers, air conditioners. A couple of the bulkier things off. I'll leave this stuff on the truck and we'll try to uh, fill the truck. Oh yeah, I got that drill too to see if that works. And then we'll go find some stuff on the curb. Ooh, almost passed it up. Lux aluminum. Sometimes scrap can trick me. Well, not this time though. I do want to flatten it out a bit though. Maybe even fold it. half out here is that a bumper can't quite tell what the yeah it's a bumper it's Completely plastic. Wow. <laughs> That's a lot of plastic. Scrap. You got me. Morning, Ralph. Morning, Sam. Hmm. What is that? What might you be? Can't quite tell. Is it, is it a pot? Is it a bird bath? Don't really know. I'm blocking driveways. Oh, I doubled up. Helium steel? Yes. Got to tie a string to this. That's a beautiful sight. A mini pile. Hmm. I like this. It's a little. <laughs> it's not a lot. It's a. It's a lot rinky dink. But I like the bulb. So I'm pretty much done with my route. So I think I'm going to go back to my house, re-put on the bulky items that I thought I was making room for. Hmm. How about this? Uh, three hours later. Still not. Oh, 
sold this for a little bit of insulated copper wire for 75 cents a pound. There we go. I just woke the dogs up. Sorry, pups. Didn't mean to interrupt your beauty sleep. Alright, what else we got going on here? Ooh. But that's a shark, Paul. Was a shark. That's a nice table. Seriously. I like coffee tables. It's sturdy. Looks brand new. That's a nice table. Looks like someone started to refinish it. Or is that patinaed? I like it. I'm not gonna take it. That's for a, an old sewing machine. Hmm. Ooh, that's some rusty water. White rusty. All right, I just got a call to pick up two appliances, but they are uh, in her washroom that's attached to her garage. So I'll have to like, go up a step or so. So I'll definitely need to use the hand truck. All right, so here's the two appliances and just kind of a lip and I have to go there. So yeah. plugged in. All right, so that's an electric dryer. You can tell by the size of that plug. All right, I'm going to go my hand truck. Well, hello, guinea pig. What is the ups? Hi. Oh, he's like, I'm out of here. <laughs> what I plan on doing, uh oh, I need some tools, don't I? Hmm. Yep, I'm gonna have to unhook. work. Are you still attached somehow? All grow. <laughs> Maybe that should have been on the back. It's not gonna fit, is it? Yeah, well. Most likely.
They're sleeping. Stay. Machines have this ability just to catch everything. Wow. Jar's gonna go right there. Your money. There's been some people in my comment section like, Paul, how many times are you going to not know how the lift gate switches work? <laughs> and um, I don't know. There's some people. Have you noticed there's some people that have no clue what they're talking about, but they speak boldly as if they do. Um, and they might believe they know what they're talking about. <laughs> One person's like, Paul, the up button makes it go up and the down button makes it go down. And if you forget that, you probably should mark it somehow. <laughs> um, yeah, th there's four things. There's a power button. There's a security feature. There's a up and there's a down. Yeah. So just letting folks know that, yeah, there's going to be some multiple buttons that are not intuitive because you don't have a lift gate and you haven't used one. I love you, but please. So, where are you going? Uh, you might not fit. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, it might not fit. Yeah, you are. You're good. Oh, look at this money falling out. Yeah, I think we're good. Perfect. This kind of resembles my happy place. What's up, Bill? That guy is so competent at what he does. He's been working here for years and years and years and years and years. Maybe 30? I think he's the longest employee ever here. 7,000 pounds? What? 7120? And I left some scrap at my house. Yep. I did. At my savings account. Make 
sure that he saw me. <laughs> you definitely want to communicate with the most dangerous equipment in the yard. Garbage is on my right, and scrap is on my left. This way? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. goodness. If I slam it hard enough, maybe a bunch of money's going to come out. The reason why this cuts so well, because I only cut copper and aluminum with it. I never use this as pliers and that type of stuff. He's going to my pocket, buddies. All right. I saw some money fall out. I did. this lip. Yes, yes, yes. You got issues here because of my rope. Um, 
6,500 even. Let's see. Can I see? 6580, 6600. All right, so we have 500 and something pounds. Five hundred. Five hundred pounds of scrap, but also I got the PlayStation and the Asus computer and a couple items still at my house. And some Illuminati. Wasn't fully. Someone's goggles, huh? What's up, Alfredo? Hey, buddy. How you doing? Good, man. What's up, Michael? Just some street scrap for you. Yeah, I did a lot of the scrapping yesterday, but then I went through the same neighborhoods and there was like hardly anything. So I think there's some competition out there. You know why I haven't seen the, your big competition? Um, the, the guys in the red truck? Yeah. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's like two guys. Yeah, their truck broke down. Oh, okay. Have you seen Virgil at all? Virgil, I have not seen. What okay. Uh, no, I haven't. Yeah. Super good, man. It's relaxing. Thank you, sir. Alrighty, I appreciate you. Thank See you around. Have a nice one. See ya. 520 pounds at $250 in that ton, which is 12 and a half cents a pound. Oh, wait a minute. Praise before prices. I forget. Thank you, God. Thank you for this day. Thank you for this beautiful sunshine. And it's cool out. It's actually hoodie weather. Ah. Seriously, God, today is a good day. Thank you for feeling good. Thank you for healing. Hmm. I know this body's temporary, God, but you are not. You are forever. Lord, just remind me of that. Hmm. Lord, give me more faith. Give me more forgiveness. Give me more of you. Remind me of you constantly. In the name of your son that you sent for us for salvation. You salvaged us. You're in the salvation business. Thank you for the salvage. In the name of your son. Amen. 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 All right. So yeah, 65 bucks. Yeah. And scrap at the house, the Asus computer. All right. I need to figure out how to turn that stuff into something useful or cash. <laughs>